Hello guys, namaste to everyone and we are back off the road. So we're going off road today. Almost uh, it's an interstate off road somewhere around 110 kilometers. We are going to this place called this Vizag Beach Colony which is near Nagarjun Sagar. It's a very beautiful place. I've been there before but on road. This is something different. This is off the road. We are going to cover some real good trails through the small villages, through the small hamlets here and there. So one of our riders who happens to be our coach on off the road is uh, has somehow tracked a good route through all these small villages and through the forests and through a lot of small little canals here and there. So we're gonna explore that in a bit. Till then, hold your horses, let's ride. Oh, mountains man, mountains! Wow, the weather is sweet. We need, as a, as a biker, as a rider, we need such a kind of weather because, see, most of the stuff or the safety gear, the riding wear we wear, it's it's all nylon, it's all polyester, it's all plastic material which you are actually wearing, which is very very hot inside. You become like a, a momo, a boiled momo on your inside your helmet, and you become like a boiled egg <laughs> when the sun is out. Uh, regardless of you know what you're wearing let it be you know what what do you call that uh, music is disturbing my flow when i'm speaking that is so even when you're wearing let it be a jacket a vented jacket or a mesh jacket you wear any damn thing you're gonna sweat you're gonna sweat like shit yeah, so we have a good combination of bikes today. We have a Duke Adventure or a KTM Adventure 390. We have two Himalayans with us and we have an Impulse and an Africa Twin and of course the BMW GS 1250. <laughs> so all combinations of bikes on the right today and the weather is super sweet this is summer and there's a small little break somewhere it's a little bit cloudy today so we're gonna get off the road i don't know why i'm so desperate to get off the road because once off the road the bum is off the bike So that today I'm not wearing my off-road helmet because it's a mix of uh, road, on-road and off-road and on the return I think we're going to do a straight tarmac road so I just thought you know this would be better uh, this is a pure touring helmet compared to uh, off-road helmet off-road helmet has a much larger view so that you can see all your sides equally and of course it has a beak which helps you from sunlight and reflections Very important. 
and you have to look the vision is very important I'm not a coach I'm a, I'm a student off-roading is something that you'll always be a student at completely dirty had a bad fall Sometimes in off-roading, sometimes I just hate it, you know, I hate it so much because there's so much of fucking fear of falling and today I directly fell in the ditch full of dirty water. And sometimes you have to do things which you hate to learn and become better at it's so many things. Sometimes I hate the bike because it's too big. Sometimes I hate myself for not having enough confidence. Sometimes I hate because I braked in the wrong time, in the wrong place. Just look at the view, man. Wow. Like proper forest.
డాడీ కాకు రైస్ కాకు రోజు డైలీ రైస్ కాకు డయాబెటిస్ ఆకు ఫిర్ మేరే చేసే ఆఫ్ రోడింగ్ కార్కు
really tired, tested, and whatever else you want to think about it. Wow. Had a couple of falls today, and my leg is already hurting. One important part is that you have to be very hydrated throughout the trip or any biking trip as such. We had a late lunch and it's been really tiring. And as of now, out of six bikes, only three bikes made it till the end. And out of six riders, four made it till the end.